Section 10.5, Further Applications of the Ideal Gas Equation. So we're going to tweak the ideal gas law just a tiny bit in order to, um, to, to solve for densities or solve for the molecular mass. So a density is a mass divided by a volume. So I've got moles. So if I have moles divided by a volume, I can turn moles easily into mass by going through the periodic table. So number of moles times the molecular mass, which is the um, all of the, the atomic masses of the molecule added together, multiply that, you've got the mass in grams of whatever you're looking at. So now that I have mass in grams, I've got mass over volume, and that's density. So in order to, in order to um, turn moles into mass, I'm going to have to take number of moles times the molecular mass, which is from the periodic table, to both sides of the equation, and you end up with mass over volume equals pressure times the, the molecular mass over R times the temperature. So very useful if you're going to find the, the density of gases. And some gases are, are less dense. That's why a hydrogen or a helium balloon will, will float in the air because it's less dense than the air. The air gets underneath it. It gets on top of it. And that's why it's floating. Carbon dioxide gas, if you've ever seen um, uh, dry ice, will form a cloud. It's actually water vapor that you're seeing, but they'll form a cloud that drops down below the surface of the air. So, so you could actually pour that, st that smoke out of a glass that has uh, dry ice in it, and it would f hit the table because it's, it's l lower, it's more dense than the air surrounding it. And so um, knowing the density of air is very, um, very useful in a lot of different ways. So the density is going to be its mass over its volume, which is its pressure times the molecular mass of the material divided by its RT. The other one you can find is that if you know the density, then you can know the molecular mass because we found the density from using the molecular mass. If you don't know the molecular mass of a gas that you're talking about, it's an unknown gas to you, and you could find out its density through experiment, you could find out what gas you're talking about just by redirecting it. So if the density equals the pressure times molecular mass over RT, then you just solve for, for M. Suddenly you have the density of the gas times, times RT over P. And again, you can use it um, in a lot of different ways.